name's Natalie Bungate. I'm from the British Pest Control Association. Today we'd like to talk about wasps. We've all experienced that barbecue or picnic that has been ruined by wasps flying around us. So today I think it would be very helpful if we talk a bit about wasps and what you can do to prevent them from causing a problem to you. Wasp is a flying insect. It's also something that we call a social insect. So what that means is that the wasp will build a nest and it will live together in one nest, about 5,000 other wasps within it. There are two main different types of wasps in the UK. It's very difficult to tell them apart. Um, some of the common names that use them are a German wasp and also a common wasp. But as I said, they're very difficult to tell apart. Some pest controllers can tell from the aggression levels can be slightly different, but generally they look very much the same. The life cycle of a wasp is something we call a complete life cycle. So an egg is laid by a queen, that egg then hatches out into a larvae. It's like a little, a little maggot, it's a larvae. Uh, that larvae, once it's ready, it will pupate. So it will, it will cocoon itself and start to grow within a small shell. Once that has gone through its cycle, it will hatch out into uh, an adult, which will look exactly like the wasps we see flying around. The reason we control wasps is for a couple of reasons, but predominantly they are because of maybe a bit of fear as well as health implications. So having wasps within an area can cause a lot of fear for those that don't like their presence, but also the health implications. So if they were to sting you, you may have a severe allergic reaction and that can cause possibly hospital treatment. So it's important that we deal with wasps as and when they're in an area we don't want them to be. The best way to spot a wasp's nest is from the activity of the workers. If you were to look up into, for example, the eaves of your house where we commonly find wasp nests, you will see worker wasps going in and out of one entry and exit holes. Sometimes, a bit later on in the season, when a wasp nest has got to a larger size, there might be a few entry holes, maybe even going under some of your tiles in your roof, but certainly the wasp activity itself going in and out of the nest that might be located in, in your garden or your house. And if you do discover any of this, you can address it before it becomes a bigger nest and potentially more dangerous. Wasps can actually be quite useful. The assumption is, is, or a common question is, what do wasps do? Well, actually, wasps do two really important things, lots of things, but the two main important things is that, firstly, their prey are small invertebrates, insects. They will actually catch those to feed to their young. So it does do a bit of insect control for ourselves within our garden. It might help your plant be protected from invading small aphids, for example. But also wasps can pollinate. They don't do it purposefully, but they do pollinate flowers. So they can be of great benefit. The best way to decide whether or not you need to treat a wasp nest is to look at the position that it's in and decide whether or not that position and the path of where the wasps are flying is in conflict with maybe your health and safety or the health and safety of your, your family. It can be very tempting to address or treat a wasp nest yourself that's within your property, but we strongly advise that you do not. And the reason being is that wasps can be very dangerous. Their stings are very dangerous on their own, whereas you can get up to 5,000 wasps within one nest. One wasp sting can be a real health problem. Imagine thousands of wasps protecting their nest. If you were to call out a professional pest controller, the first thing that they'll do is establish where the nest is, of course, the most important thing. Once they've established where the nest is, they will then make a bespoke decision on how they're going to treat your wasp nest. But normally it will include or involve a pesticide of some sort, an insecticide, uh, maybe a powder or a liquid. It really depends on where the nest is. 
A professional pest controller will have all of the equipment necessary to treat a nest as well as keep themselves safe and you safe. For example, protective equipment that will prevent them from being stung. To find a professional pest management company to deal with your wasp nest, you can use the BPCA Find a Pest Controller tool. All you need to do is enter your postcode and you will find a list of pest controllers in your area. You can be certain that the, all of these pest controllers are trained, trusted and audited by the BPCA. For more information on wasp biology, behaviour and prevention, head to bpca.org.uk forward slash wasps. If you need a pest management company, then find a local member at bpca.org.uk forward slash find. Alternatively, you can call our 24-7 helpline on 01332 294 288.